Hello, hello, Tatum here. Welcome back to another workout. Today, no lunges and no squats cardio. It's gonna be a tough one, let's get to it. All right, welcome, welcome. It's time to get started. We have cardio today, so we're gonna move and move and move. Um, but I, I did keep lunges and squats out of today, which was quite challenging because I love my lunges and squats for cardio as well. But we're gonna keep it out just in case you have some tired legs, sore legs, maybe your knees are bugging today. Don't worry about it, all right? We're gonna stay and we're gonna move. And here in Indiana, it's cold, so I'm ready to get warm. And I don't wanna take it outside someday, so we're gonna take it right in here. We're gonna start with low jacks, just tapping out. Everything is low impact today. We'll slide, we'll move a little, but nothing too crazy. All right, but we are not resting much in these intervals at all. I wanna keep our heart rate up. So we're gonna keep moving. If you need more rest, you take it where you need it and you get back to it. That's all there is. It's not gonna hurt you. It's not gonna make a difference to me. I just want you to do you. Three, two, and one. Let's march it out right here. Knees high, move those arms. Good, if you want, move it around. <laughs> if you have space there, that can feel a little bit better than staying in place. All right, keep working. 30 seconds each here. We're gonna go two rounds, just kind of moving, warming up before we get into the main gist of this workout. Good. Where I have three different intervals. All right, here we go. Kick behind. Hit that butt. If you want, we can throw some arms and slow it down here, or you can take it high, right here. Sort of high, low impact high, right? But I'm gonna slow it down, move my arms as well. Just warming up the entire body, staying as warm as I possibly can here <laughs> today. It's not too bad. I'm complaining, January and February are far worse. Three, two, and one. Knee hugs, whoo, squeeze in. You can walk this one out if you want. Pull in, really give it a good tug, feels good. Walk it out or stay in place. Good. And again, this is a low impact workout. I'm not going to talk about bringing it up today with jumping or bouncing too much. So if you wanna take it there, feel free to go ahead. Modify up. All right, here we go. We're gonna go low here, my arms wide, down low, and you're gonna pull up right here in front and tap it out. Good, just moving. All about the movement today. This workout, I believe, is close, closer to 45 minutes. We're gonna take three sets of each of my circuits, three exercises. Three is very popular today. Three circuits, three exercises per circuit, three sets, all right? Good, back to low jacks. Just moving through this warm up. Once we get through those, it's my favorite thing to do, <laughs> we're gonna go back to the top. All right, so we're gonna go to that back first circuit and we're gonna work all the way through all of our exercises today, one by one. So we'll be here a while. You can modify by doing two sets instead of three on each of these circuits. Three two, and one, march in place. You could also leave our fourth round that we're gonna do off today, especially if you're crunch in a time crunch. So that's pretty nice. Or I have other suggestions, I'll type them up. Make sure you read the comments below. I have other suggestions for you. If they're not there, send me a message and tell me you did not leave those comments. I always try to remember everything that comes into my head here during these workouts. All right, here we go, butt kicks again. You can just work the kicks if you want, side to side, with a little pull back here, it feels good. Good, warming up, get moving. We're not gonna pause too much today. You pause when you need it. Good, make sure you have a water and towel. <laughs> I'm looking for mine. Sometimes I forget that, usually on leg day, not sure why. Three, two, and one, let's hug those knees, slow down here, squeeze it in, alternate each leg, hold it, don't rush it, find your balance, 
and squeeze feels really good. Nice work. Again, you can walk and do these at the same time. Take a step, give it a squeeze, take a step, give it a squeeze. Three, two, and one. Here we go. We're gonna go low here, just like we did before, pulling up in front, tapping it out. Good work. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for tuning in. If you're still watching, which I hope you are, and I actually hope you're not just watching, that you're doing this workout with me. We are bringing exercise or workouts to you seven days a week with my coaching. So if you're looking for that, please remember to subscribe. All right, here we go, one more time. Low jacks. I guess we're taking this three sets. <laughs> I thought maybe it was two. No, we're ending with this. No, we are taking it three sides today. I always debate between two on the warm up, but because this is gonna help elevate this heart rate going into cardio, I decided three. Good. Here we go, march it out. Walk around if you want. Just lift those knees high, get those arms in there. Good job, good job. Really pump the arms. 15 seconds to go here. Get moving. This is a great workout if you don't own any cardio equipment at home and it's just too cold to get outside. Butt kicks here with a pullback if you'd like or just butt kick. It's a great way to get moving. And because I have the three different circuits, you could take each circuit and break it up into the day to so get moving throughout your day. Talking about steps a lot this month. All right, working it in. Getting your steps in throughout the day can make a big difference on your health, okay? Three, two, and one. Knee hugs, here we go. Squeeze, last one, I promise. I said that last time, but I'm pretty sure we're done here. Can't imagine doing four of these. <laughs> Sometimes I set, set these up earlier in the morning or the day before. I've slept since then. Good. Squeeze, nice work. Keep moving. Hug it out, hug it out. We have our low jacks coming up. Here we go, step it out. Pull up in front. That's it. Nice work. Last one here. We're gonna hit our first circuit today. Super excited, just move. I'm easing my way back in after a little Thanksgiving staycation. I really relaxed on everything. <laughs> Other than having some fun with the family. All right, 30 seconds here. We're gonna do um, uppercuts, okay? So stepping with this uppercut right underneath the chin. All right, we have that one. We're also gonna do a step back knee strike. So arms out in front, knee hit. Right here, pulling down, strike it. Good, we'll stay with one side, then do the other. And we have a high knee march again, but arms holding out in front. Those are our three, we're gonna do them three times. Three, two, and one. Here we go, uppercut. A little tap of the feet here, a little bounce. Good. Right up under that chin. Keep it coming. You got it. Breathe. Make it quick. Stick it. If you want more work, bring it down a little lower. You got it. Or higher. Either way. Three, two, and one, here we go. Step back, we're gonna stay with the right leg, bringing the right knee up here, our left leg here, bringing the right knee through. Good, strike. So reach back, strike. Good, you can stay, bit over or stand. If it feels better to stand and come out of that. To make it harder, stay bent over, reach, pull down. You got it. Find your balance, move at your pace. 
We're halfway, switch sides. You got it. Exhale with each hit. Really pull in, exhale so you can contract those abs. Good, we're moving. I want you to think about bracing your core, contracting your abs on some of these. Good. Three, two, and one. Good. Here you go, arms out in front, march it out. Bring those knees high. It's harder when you don't have the arms swinging and you have this weight out in front. But hold it there. Good, pick up those knees. If you wanna walk and march, you can. Good job. And I will tell you, in case I didn't, in case I messed up, but these are 40 second intervals today. I increased them a little bit more because we aren't bouncing and jumping. So it took us a little longer. Three, two, and one. Woo! Here you go, arms are tired, we're feeling it. Uppercuts, but we're gonna keep moving. We're gonna dig through this, all right? You've got it. Good. Right up under that chin. Don't stop. You got it. Oh, feels good. Nice work. Just takes me a little time to get warmed up here in my little garage studio where it's a little chilly at times. All right, exercise two, put that right leg back. Here we go. Strike that knee, pull down. Good, you can come up out of it if it feels good or stay low. There you go. Come on. Exhale with each hit. Good, do it with some intention, right? Not loosey goosey. Nice tight core. Glutes on. You got it. Reach and pull down. Come on. Three, two, and one. Here we go. March it out. Lift those knees, arms out front. It's hard, hard to hold your arms out here, right? Keep them up, shoulder height. Bring those knees up, don't stop. You got it. Hopefully you're starting to feel this as we work. 20 seconds to go, halfway. Keep those arms up there. Don't let them fall down. Check them out in the mirror, make sure they're there. Shoulder height. You got it, you got it. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Here we go, back to number one. It's our last round. Punch, uppercut. Let's do it. This is a longer cardio session today. We're not bouncing, jumping, squatting, or lunging. So, we're gonna take it a little longer. Work a little endurance today, a little steady state endurance. We will progress through this though. I will say my third circuit's gonna be a little bit more work than what we're doing in this first circuit. Just adding up, adding it up, piling it on. Three, two, and one. Here we go, right foot back, arms overhead. Knee strike. Good. You got it. Just imagine taking this first circuit in your day. Say you wake up. You don't have time. You need your sleep. You don't have time to do an hour or 45 minutes or maybe even 30 minutes, but you want to move. Take this first circuit. Do these exercises. You can do them by reps and get moving there before you jump in the shower, get ready for work or leave for work or take the kids to school. Then, my second circuit's come up. Imagine doing that one at lunchtime on a break. And then the other one after dinner, before dinner, after work, breaking it up, just like you would your steps. 
And this will let you get moving, use all your muscles. All right, we switched sides. I hope you caught that, I'm sorry. Talking, talking, three, two, and one. All right, we're marching, arms up. If you miss that other side, keep working. Sorry, I'm talking, trying to give you some advice for movement throughout the day. I've been there where I have trained and worked hard one hour a day, okay? One hour a day in the morning before work started, drove an hour to work, sat at a desk, never took a break, eight hours, drove back an hour, cooked dinner, sat on the couch, ate my dinner, went to bed. A lot of sitting and lying down. Not a lot of movement, even with my hour workout, just not enough. You've gotta find time to move. Just walking, nothing crazy, but you do need your strength in higher intensity. All right, 30 seconds rest. This is our only rest, is in between each circuit. So, three sets of those, moving on. We're gonna do a crossover hit, side to side, okay? Just marching it out and give it a little twist across the body. We have an oblique hit here to the side. We're gonna do, we'll split that 30 30. Then we're gonna do some kicks, all right? So, let's go ahead. Start with that crossover, hit into the knee, twist and turn, bring that knee up, get that elbow outside. You could go right here if you want, or twist outside for a little more reach. You got it. There are 40 seconds. Ooh, I have a sweat coming. It's great, <laughs> it feels so good. I don't know. My family doesn't agree with me that sweating and humidity and heat feels good as I think they do. I think I need to buy my own little sauna from Costco and stick it around here. That'd make my winter happy. <laughs> Three, two, and one. Obliques, here you go. Pull down, sorry. I want you to lean a little bit too and pull down. Good. Lift that knee to elbow, hit, hit. Tap down, just barely. If you want more work, lean a little bit more. Pull down, get a little bend, good. Barely touch that toe down so you have to balance. There's a lot going on, feels good. You got it. Halfway, other side, here we go. Same thing. Exhale with each hit. Pull that knee to elbow, elbow to knee. Good, keep it up. We're gonna have some kicks coming up here again, but varied this time. Three, two, and one. Here we go, you're gonna bring that leg up and over. I like to do these with a squat, we're not today, but we're gonna bring it back, which we don't typically do, okay? So out and in, out, in, just alternating this entire time. You can do it, you got it. Take it up as high as you can. That will depend on your mobility, flexibility. Just do your best. Get your balance, woo! <laughs> All right, you can do this. Good, tap in. I like to bring my foot a little bit behind, then up over together. A little behind, up and over. Good. Three, two, and one. Nice work, all right, twist. With that crossover, here we go. Hit, knee hits again. I put a lot of knee hits in today. A little bit of punching, a little bit of kicking. Great ways to rev up that heart rate. Bring that knee out or elbow outside that knee if you can. If that's too much, just give it a twist. Hit over that knee, march it out to the side there. Mix it up, have some fun with it, modify. You do you, have some fun. Three, two, and one. Good job. Here we go. To the side. Hit. Good. And you're leaning a little bit, okay? Probably better from the front. Right here. Tap it out. Give it a little lean. Just touch down with those toes. Lift. Good. Nice work. Really stretch it out. Pull it in. Exhale. Each pull in. You got it. We're halfway, other side, just in time, right? Good, 
good. Keep it coming. Those kicks are next. Pull down here. Really reach, reach. Get a good extension here, so you have further to go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Up and over, back in, all right? Out, in together. Just like that, that's all it is, back and forth. Alternating. Good work. Keep it coming, stay focused. Brace your core. You have to keep a really tight core here to keep your balance as you move that leg up and out and back in. Brace. Talked about bracing a lot this week. Three, two, and one. Nice work, here we go. Cross and hit. Little march. Elbow outside knee if you're there today. Twist. Feel it in those hips from those kicks. <laughs> They're there. They're working. We'll have rest after this round before our last round. You're doing great. Hang in there. Three, two, and one. Here we go. Arm up overhead. Give it a slight lean. Pull down. You got it. Pull. Strike. Brace. Feel those abs con uh, contracting on you as you exhale. Right? Good. Halfway, other side. Here we go. Reach, toe out. A little rotation there as well. Reach, bring the elbow outside that leg. Good. Good, come on. Three, two, and one. Last one. Well, last one for now. Like I said, we will revisit each one of these one more time through at the end, so don't forget them. We'll see them one more time, but just one time. So much easier than sticking with it for four when you kind of get bored. <laughs> but now we get to use all these muscles in a different way and go back through the build again. Feeling those tired muscles working for you, revving up the heart rate a bit more. Good, out, in, out, in, three, two, and one. That's our rest. Two claps for you. Grab a sip of water, only 30 seconds. Again, I'm trying to keep us slightly elevated. Bring a little sweat on without going crazy. Although we are taking it up a notch here. We're gonna do a step out burpee. If you need a chair or a wall for this, where you just step out, in and up, that's okay. I'm gonna go to the floor today. We're gonna step it out and in. We're gonna do some punching as well. So just follow my lead, we'll get through the next stuff. Here we go. Out, out, in, in, one, two, three, and four, good. Out, out, in, in, one, two, three, and four. Out, out, in, in, four punches. I'm gonna let you move at your pace. Everybody's gonna get down and up from that ground at different speeds. Just give it an out, out, in, in, four punches. Keep repeating, you got it. 30 seconds to go here. Keep moving at your pace. Remember, you can take this burpee to an incline and make it a little more gentle on the body and the knees by not going as deep down. Good. I say getting up and down here with this burpee is just as much fun and good as the jump. Good. One, two. Three, two, and one. Good, all right, here we go. We're gonna do a kick or a little cross the body hit here. All right, so angle, 
to kick out in front. Stay with the same side. Here, kick out in front. Hit, kick out in front. Hit, good, you got it. That's it, right here. 30 seconds. We'll do this and we'll switch sides. You got it. Halfway, let's see if we're as coordinated on the other side, right? <laughs> kick out in front, good. Side hit, cross the body, out in front. Cross the body, out in front. Cross, front, cross, front. You got it, cross, Woo. and front. Good, I told you, coordination's not as good on this side. Good, three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, we're gonna kick back now. So I want you to bend over just a bit the hips, bottom back towards that wall. Kick it back. Find your feet together and then kick. You can give it a little look back at that leg as you kick back. Good. The lower you stay, the hardest it is. You can come up and just kick or stay low. Feel it in your bottom, feel it in the glutes. Kick, kick, good. That's it, go at your pace. Get some control of it. Don't rush it. A little push out at the knee. Right there. Good. You got it. Three, two, and one. All right, burpee punches. Here we go. Walk it out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Good. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Your pace. Here we go. One, two. Now, I took this a little bit longer because this takes time. So if you thought that seemed really long, you're right, it was longer. It's a full minute. But between all this going down and up, I thought it was necessary. <laughs> Sorry, if that's not the case for you, you can take it less. We're at 25 seconds to go. If 30 seconds or 35 seconds was enough for you, you can take your rest here. Good. One, two, three, four. Down, down, up, up. One, two, three, four. You got it? Down, down, up, up. One, two, three, four. Down, down. Good. All right. Here we go. Little knee hit. Lots of knee hitting today. I just built off of each one. Start out a little more simple, a little easier, and then built on. Good. You got it. Keep moving. Thirty seconds each side here. Just as we tire out, we'll get to switch. Halfway, good. Other side. Here we go. Kick out in front. To the side. Little knee hit. Out in front kick. Straight leg. Good. Front. Side knee. You got it. Keep it coming. Move those arms. Helps rev up that heart rate. Get the entire body moving. Woo! Good work, here we go, kicking back. Bend over, kick, step, good. Bring it together, you got it. Look over that shoulder, kick out. Nice work. Twenty more seconds, keep moving. If that heart rate has spiraled up as we've moved and progressed through this workout, please go ahead and take a break. Take a moment if you need it. I didn't write any rest, so you don't have to work the full interval the entire time. You could add in a little rest on your own. Three, two, and one. Good job. Burpee punch, here we go. Out, out, in, in. One, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Out, out, up, up. One, two, three, four. You got it. You go at your pace. You can add more punches if you want. Mix it up. Have a little fun. You do you. One, two, three, four. Good. One, two, three, four. Keep moving, keep moving. You got this. Last round. We'll take a rest. And we're moving through each exercise in one more, just to make sure you didn't forget them. <laughs> oh, sounded like an evil laugh, Tatum. Sorry about that. It'll be good for us. 
10 seconds. Told you this would progress. It's getting a little harder each circuit. Here we go. Knee hit, leg kick. Knee hit, straight leg kick. You got it. Keep working. You can go right down the middle too, if that's easier. I'm giving a little twist. So I have to coordinate a little bit. It's up to you. So I'm gonna cross the body just slightly. Halfway, other side, here we go. Same thing. Remember, if you wanna modify, straight down the middle with this one. Kick, kick, good. Hit, kick, hit, kick, you got it. Exhale, with each hit, kick. Three, two, and one. All right, kickbacks. Look, boy, we built that heart rate, didn't we? Without the lunges, without the squats, without the jumping, we did it. We're gonna have to do it one more time just to make sure we've had that challenge. Woo, kick, good. Look over that shoulder. Squeeze the glute, outside glute. Brace your core. Good, come on. Three, two, and one. All right, 30 seconds rest. Give yourself a clap, nice work. All right. Whew. I know I'm feeling it already. And we're gonna go through it one more time from the top. I'll remind you what we're doing with each exercise. The first one is the uppercuts. All right. Then we're gonna do knee strikes, work on through. You'll remember them as soon as we start. Same intervals, they haven't changed. Here we go, uppercuts. Ease them back in. All right, maybe we work a little faster because we're warm and we're loose and our muscles are turned on and ready. We know what to do. Good. Right up under that chin. Get a little lower if you want. Stay a little higher if you need to. Make it your own, modify, you do you. Find that challenge, your challenge. Not my challenge, not the other person on here next to you, your own challenge. So make sure you are being challenged in some way. Three, two, and one, nice work. Here we go, right into it. This is a full circuit, no rest in it. We're just gonna move, so pace yourself. Don't feel like you have to rush it or take it too crazy. If you need a rest, take that rest. And join in with us a few seconds in. Strike, come on, hit, hit. You got it. Woo, glutes are working. Here we go, switch sides, halfway, other side. Good. Remember, each time we do one of these exercises, we're chipping away, we're done with it. All right, now we're gonna repeat it again. Just one large circuit all the way through. So hang in there, try to get through it, knowing that it's gonna switch up on you real quick. Three, two, and one. March in front, arms out in front. This might be tough now as we tire out, but make sure those Hands stay shoulder level. Bring those knees up, don't get lazy on me. Come on, march it out. Bring them high. Pretend you wanna hit those knees to those hands. Lift, lift. 15 seconds to go here. We're moving right in to that crossover knee hit. Seven seconds, lift. Come on, lift. Three, two, and one. Here we go, cross. Oh, we alternated too. Let's alternate, march it. Sorry, I wanted to stay with one side, but let's go ahead, twist and hit. Marching out, alternating here, side to side. Get a good twist, Whew. 
Come on. Last one today. You got it. Don't slow down. Don't give up. Yeah, we're not resting, but you can get through it. Three, two, and one. Now we'll split it side to side. Here we go. Reach. Bring that knee to elbow, pull down. Give it a little side bend here. A little lean to really engage the core and the abs. Good. You got it. Huh. Huh. Come on. Really reach. If you want, give it a little rotation outside that knee too as you pull down. Feel that twist. All right, here we go. Other side. Same thing. You got it. Pull down, knee to elbow. Give it a little twist, really reach. Exhale, contract. There's a lot going on in all of these. Yes, three, two, one. Here we go, kick out and in. Bring it up and out. Swing it back in, good. Lift, out, tap in, out, tap in, alternating each leg. We're almost done. See, woo, this fourth round goes quick. We're just spending one time at each exercise. We have our burpees coming up next, modified step outs. Good, lift, bring it in. Come on, control, I lost mine. We gotta focus on core. Three, two, and one. All right, here we go, we're down, hands down. Walk it out, tap, 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 four punches. Good, down, out, out, in, in. One, two, three, and four. At your pace now. Come on, move through it. Remember, this is a little bit longer on this one. So pace yourself. Take a rest when you need it. Do as much as you can for the minute. As long as you're feeling that challenge, as long as you're being challenged, this is good. Even if you have to rest. Good. Down, down, up, up. Nice work. Oh, there we go. It's been so cold. I haven't had that drip factor in a while. It's coming right off the forehead. Feels so great. <laughs> oh, give me a comment if you love to sweat. I know people who don't like to sweat at all. <sighs> That's it. All right, here we go. Remember, hit, straight leg kick. Hit, kick. Knee, kick, knee, kick. You can give it to the side, you can do it to the front. Whatever you need to do, make it your own. Well, let's work, because it's the last one today. Good, exhale, exhale, good. Hit, raise, hit, kick, good. Other side, same thing, let's keep moving. We just have one more exercise today, right? Good. You've done great. Thank you for staying with me. Good job to you. Way to work it, way to fit it in. I know it's hard. I know we're busy, but you can do it. Just make time, make it a priority. Three, two, and one. All right, back kick, here we go. Bend up the hips. Look over that shoulder, kick back. Push out from the knee. Bend it, kick out from that knee there. You got it. Move at your pace. Find your balance, squeezing that glute, both glutes, bracing the core. Good, we got it. Come on. Keep working. Three, two, and one. All right, a little bit of a cool down here. All right, grab a sip of water. All right, now, if you want more, you could go back through that whole loop. It's a large circuit. One or two more times and keep moving. Maybe you need a little more time on your feet, all right? 
I'll leave that up to you, but for the sake of time, we're gonna go ahead and rest here. <laughs> Let's bring those arms up overhead. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Good, big deep breaths. In through the nose. Exhale through the mouth, good. And again, in and out. Feels so good, one more, one more. In and out. Good job, good job. Let's go ahead and just do a couple side bends. Reach here, grab your left wrist, reach up overhead as tall as you can. I wiggle to kind of get out of there and really extend the spine. Pull up and then over as well. And I, I like to lay my head on this inside arm, just kind of relax it down so I don't have to hold my neck and I can just kind of focus on the stretch and breathe. If you're having trouble breathing, it might be that we've gone too far. Come out of it just a bit, find your breath. You need your breath. You want to relax. Good, you should feel the stretch as well. Breathe into it. Good, come up to the top, grab your right wrist, reach really high, bend over to the left, and breathe. That's it, in and out. Let that head relax on that inside arm. Nice work, and because I feel those glutes as well as I'm sure you do, let's go ahead and come down to a frogger position. Knees wide, knees wide, arms out in front. So about shoulder width or a little bit wider. Toes are out as wide too, they're not in together, they're out. All right, and we're just gonna lean back, lean back into it. Feel that stretch. You're gonna feel it on the inner and outer parts of your uh, inner thighs and hips. Now let's walk it over to your right knee just a bit. Feel that stretch. Lean into it. Oh, good. Woo! Right there. Walk it over. Make a little rainbow for me. Rainbow. Breathe. Feel that stretch. Good job. Let's come to our bottom here real quick. We'll take this as our last one. I'll call it a day. There's a lot to do. I'm sure you're just as busy. Here we go, knees side to side. Just swinging them here. Feels good. Let them fall. Try to touch the floor with them. Get them all the way down if you can. Good. Nice work, two more. All right, we're gonna stop there. I appreciate you tuning in and doing this workout with me. Thank you so much. I hope that you come back tomorrow. You have a great day. Bye-bye.